Hey guys, all right, so uh, here's our third example for computing limits algebraically using the properties that we talked about uh, a couple of videos ago. So here, example three, uh, limit as t approaches four from the right of big F of t equals negative one, limit as t approaches four from the right of big G of t equals six, and limit as t approaches four from the right of big H of t equals three. So what we want to figure out is this big old mess here. Uh, limit as t approaches four from the right of the quantity 7f of t minus 2g of t h of t. So we'll split this up and uh, go through it in uh, a lot of detail. So first what we have is limit of this minus this. So we can split this up as a difference of two limits. So let's go ahead and do that first. So this is a limit as t approaches 4 from the right of 7f of t minus the limit as t approaches 4 from the right of 2 g of t h of t. All right? So these square brackets that I'm putting in here, they're not really necessary, um, but they're not really a bad idea either. Just makes things a little more clear. All right, so now we have this. Um, <coughs> now let's look at each one of these separately. So first, limit as t approaches 4 from the right of 7 times f of t. Uh, 7 is just a constant, so we can just pull it out of the limit. Okay, So this equals 7 times limit as t approaches 4 from the right of f of t. All right, So that's the first uh, term there. And now if we go to the second term here, what do we have? We have minus 2. We can pull out the 2. All right, And then what's left? Limit as t approaches 4 from the right of g of t times h of t. And again, these square brackets aren't really necessary. Okay. So now what? Well, now this is pretty much broken down. Uh, this first term here is broken down as much as it can be. So limit as t approaches 4 from the right of f of t. Remember, we were told that that's uh, negative 1. So let's go ahead and take that value now, uh, and we're going to write this as 7 times negative 1. Then what we have is minus 2 times what? Well, this uh, limit of a product here, we can split that up as the product of two limits. So that's going to be 2 times limit uh, as t goes to 4 from the right of g of t times limit as t goes to 4 from the right of h of t. Right. And again, these square brackets here are totally not necessary, but they're not a bad idea because they help make things a little more clear. Um, they just establish the fact that these two limits are separate from each other now. Okay, so now this is um, pretty much broken apart as much as it can be. So let's go ahead and uh, come back up here. All right, and then this is going to equal um, 7 times negative 1 minus 2 times this limit times that limit. So we're told that this limit is 6. Okay, we were told that this limit is 6. And we were told that this limit here is 3. So what we have is 7 times negative 1 minus 2 times 6 times 3. So let's go ahead and write that up here. Uh, 7 times negative 1 is just negative 7. And then we had minus 2 times 6 times 3. So now it's just a matter of simplifying basic arithmetic here. Um, the limit stuff is all done now. So this is minus 7, uh, minus 2 times 6 is 12 times 3 is 36. Minus 7 minus 36 is minus 43. Oops. And that's our answer for example 3.